what's up everybody crackpun here the topic of today's video is mud release or dayton a kiki genkai that it's not very well known and i'm gonna explain you what's up with it and uh, who uses it and uh, why you never heard of it like every kiki genkai mud release is a combination of two chakra natures which in this case are earth and water exactly like wood release the jutsu made famous by hashirama senju you probably never heard of mud release because it only appears in the novel akatsuki hidden and even in verse it's so weird to have this jutsu because it's so rare that when he done encounters the user of this Kikikenkai, he doesn't even believe it actually exists. When he finds out about it, he says, oh, it's not real, this is just a legend. This Kikikenkai doesn't exist, actually. So it's kind of weird to see that even in verse, people don't know about it, or the people that know think it's just a myth. And in terms of Jutsu, there are only four that we know of that are used with this Kekekekenkai. The first one is, well, you know Mud Wall, you know, Earth Style, Mud Wall, Earth Release, Mud Wall, whatever, that Kakashi uses. It's basically the same thing, but instead of being made out of concrete, this is actually made out of, well, mud. And basically, mud erupts from the ground and creates a wall. Pretty self-explanatory, actually. There are the mud clones, aka the mud puppets, aka the mud bodies or whatever, that we see used so, like, almost like a shadow clone, or like Gara uses his sand clones, right? Basically creates another person. It's pretty self-explanatory, but it also can regenerate with mud, so that's very helpful. There's also mud release bottomless mud hole, which it's like the dark swamp jutsu that Jiraiya used against Orochimaru's snake, but this one also creates hands that sink even more the opponent. And finally, mud release landslide, which basically transforms a side of a mountain or even a full mountain in mud, making it collapse and uh, basically cover in mud the opponents, killing them. The only user of this Kikigenkai is a guy called Ameyuki. He was hated in his village because he was a Kikigenkai user. And we know even from part 1 that even Haku was hated and his father was about to kill him just because he has a Kikigenkai. And the same situation was with him. He also had this stigma of being filthy because, well, you know, he has power over mud so people assume that he likes to stay in dirt or things like that. Anyway, at some point down the line he kills everybody in the village for a totally different reason but i'm not gonna get into that and uh, after that he becomes a known criminal so known that he appears in the bingo book then kakuzu finds out about that and when he's in uh, the surrounding area of his village kakuzu and hidan go there so kakuzu can take uh, him and collect the money then we see something weird, Hidan and Ameyuki actually kinda have kind of a bond because Ameyuki is to the point that he even wants to join this religion, like not in the sense that Hidan will kill him and then he will uh, die, right, but in the sense that he will actually join this cult that Hidan is in. and. Uh, Anyway, it doesn't really matter, things happen, and then they uh, get to fight each other. 
and we see some jutsu from uh, him for example he has a mud jutsu so strong that he basically destroyed or collapsed the whole mountain that they were in just with this jutsu and he was able to keep up with Hidan quite well actually until Hidan got to got a little bit of his blood and finally killed him at the end Kakazu asked Hidan how long would it take for Hidan to make the you know sacrifice ritual that he does always and Hidan responded that it would take more this time because he has to celebrate a martyr and this is basically the story or the short version of the story of this mud release user now I previously said or maybe I didn't and I forgot whatever I w meant to say that there is a possibility to be more than one mud release user and I'm seeing that because in the anime there are two characters that can transform their body into mud and even though this is classified as uh, earth style jutsu and basically probably it's a secret technique like we get to body made out of water I still think it's worth mentioning that there are other characters that can use specifically mud release or not mud release but like mud based jutsu not earth or water just mud based jutsu which is pretty interesting at least in my opinion i hope we get to see mud release i don't know maybe in an anime a filler arc or something but uh, yeah i think it's a pretty cool idea and it can be explored more that being said thank you for watching the video this has been cracktoon i hope you learned something and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.